Rum Talk TV again. We have the infamous Jojo Mayer with us. Um, pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us and taking the time out of uh, you know having a listening to have, having a listen to some of these other awesome drummers. Um, how did you get involved in this? Uh, originally, I think about two years ago. It's a very short notice thing. Um, I uh, I subbed in for for Perkins who couldn't make it down at the show in like LA. So it was basically I played his song on right. the fly and, and then I did it last year again. And so Brian asked me to, if I wanted to do it again. And I live here, I live a couple of blocks from here. So. Wow, <laughs> cool, cool, so you just walked in. Um, tell us a bit, a bit about John Bonham Bozo. How did, how did you, when, when, can you remember where, well, probably not how, maybe how old you were, but like when you first heard him, that sound, what was your experience, if you can remember? Conjure, conjure that up for a minute and tell us about it. Well, we, to be quite honest with you, um, my dad is a musician, and, yeah. and I always heard music around the house, and from any style, from, any, from Frank Sinatra to Duke Ellington to Hendrix and Aretha Franklin and James Brown and Zeppelin. So uh, I heard that music already when I was, I don't know, you know, five years old or six okay. years old, and I didn't know who the drummer was. So it was it wasn't much later when I started to be interested who actually who the guy was and what he was doing. And I was like, oh, okay, the guy that played this is Joe Bonham. So it was not like that, you know, that I didn't have this key experience of like hearing it for the first time. Right. It was like okay. I kind of knew the music, like I knew the Beatles or anything. Okay. And, it was, and I mean, I I, uh, I would say, you know. Bonham, to me, what, what 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 he provided me, or what is interesting for me, is is, is like he's creating a very unique atmosphere in the music. Uh, that was for me always like, you know, I, I don't know what it is, what he does, the, the drums, you know, or it's the heaviness or not, or or this or the sound, how it communicates with the rest of the band, you know. And, but to me, it was always like. Like he glued that band together and right. gave it a very authentic sound. Right. Um, so it's not like, you know, he was not like a drummer that I know played with any other people, you know, like kind of like in the, like a lot of the drummers later on of like the 80s, you know, like all the, a lot of the drum heroes, they resurfaced in like many different bands, you know, right. there was some like yeah. Billy like Cobham or something, right. you know. So, you know, he was in that band and, um, so I, I think that's that's really what he did. He, he, he was the glue of that band, you know, and, and, and created that atmosphere, which is undeniable and was stood the test of time. I mean, those records don't sound dated or anything. You know, it's, it's like an old, 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 you know, like a suit, like a three-piece suit. It doesn't go out of fashion. Yeah. Acoustic music. Aaron um, Comes was saying that, you know, him, John Bonham, uh, Ringo Starr, um, you know, the Steve Gads, Tony Williams, they had an organicness about them. They were just like an organic drummer, however you explain that. Would you, would you agree with that? Well, yes, I mean, it's, it's organic and it's, uh, it's more than anything else. It's authentic, you know. They, they, they were themselves, you know. They were not trying to be, you know. Bonham didn't try to be a rock drummer. You know, he, he there was no such thing as a rock drummer when Bonham started to play the drums. You know, he was a jazz drummer. So, like all like like Ginger Baker, or, you know, yeah. he came from rhythm totally blues, was. and so you know, so he's like you know, he he created a template that like uh, it's you can only do it once, really. I mean, it's like. You know, he kind of weaponized this particular style of playing. Or I mean, I mean, he was not the only one. You know, I mean, I, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, but you know, he got the credit for it. You know, and well, of course, which doesn't take away from you know the magnitude of his of his contribution. He was a right. really amazing musician. Um, but C Carmine also did that thing. You know. Yeah. Perhaps even earlier. Yeah. I don't well, know. John actually credits him for you know getting that triplet thing on the bass, and Carmine's like, no, 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 I haven't done that. Well, and then John's like, no, no, go back to that album, that song on that album, yeah. you'll hear it. And 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 Carmine it might says matter. that it was. It might matter or or or, or doesn't. But you know, like right. he left a legacy, and 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 he, like like 
what Hendrix did with like an electric guitar, it kind of weaponized that particular way of like playing, you know. So, and it works, you know, that really works. It's uh, that, yeah. that big sound. Yeah. What song are you playing? Uh, good times, bad times. Awesome. Wow. Okay, was that your first choice? Uh, no, actually, I mean, you know, there's a lot of favorite songs. I mean, I love the ocean, you know. And, it's and, a favorite uh, with a lot of guys, actually. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it's all good. But yeah, I, I, I like, I like, um, I like good times, bad times because it has this sideways swing. You know? I like that, you know. And, right. And and I think I'm able to play it a little bit like, you know, I can still be myself playing it, you know. Yeah. Without, yeah. You know, I don't need to put on like a bonzo costume in order to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. is not true for for all the songs. You know, some of the songs I would really. Kind of like this, you have to play like that, you know. And do, do you when you're when you're playing? Are you? Uh, how did you approach this? Are you are you going to kind of pull out some, you know, John no, Bonham I, isms? This how I approach mm. this. Mm. I I try to make the band sound good. You know? good, good answer. That's good answer, <laughs> right? For all our young viewers out there. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's how we work. Right. Huh? That's how we work. That's how we get called back. That's how we should work. Should. <laughs> I like that. Cool. Um, all right. So, what can we look forward to hearing, seeing you doing in the next year? Well, uh, what are you working on? Come on, exclusive. Uh, well, um, I've been doing a lot of touring over the past like ten months. So right now, I'm taking a bunch of vacations. And I want to come back. I'll. Uh, Where are you going? Where are you going? No, no. no. It's secret. Secret, secret Island yeah. in the Bahamas somewhere. Yeah, uh, no, I'll be um, be working a little bit on uh, on some new music for my own project, which is Nerve, which mm -hmm. is kind of like very electronic inspired, you know, kind of more leaning towards subculture, beat culture, like you know, dubstep or, or, or brain feeder stuff. Right. Like so um, I, I, I didn't have much time because of all my touring with other projects to kind of like work on some new music. So I'll be doing a lot of that and. When I'm home in New York, I, I do a little bit of like recording sessions. I mean, not as much as there because there's there's not a lot of, but I do a little bit of that. Excellent. And uh, oh, I also I, I I work on um on another instructional video. For, right. For footwork. Yeah. For right. footwork, yeah. I do that. So I hope I'm going to be able to push that forward. So mm, well, let's say. Um, Optimistically, you know, might be able to finish it this year. You know, excellent, cool. And if you haven't already got the hand technique one, you mu it's a must. Okay, you got to have that. Um, a lot of drummers. 15 a lot of a lot of drummers are saying, "Look, I, I'm not going to talk to you about all that stuff. Just go and check out JoJo's DVD. It's all there. It's all there." So we're looking forward to the foot one. Um, you've had the pedal just come out recently. Yeah, yeah, that was How's something that I worked on for a long time. It came out about a year ago. Okay. And, uh, How's it going? How's it's good, very good. It's been very good. Uh, I mean, I mean, I kind of had an idea that it was going to do well because I, I wanted to put something in a place where there's nothing like it. You know, it's a little bit. It's it's, it's an alternative. It's not. You know, there's all all the pedals are basically very much similar, or very much the same. So yeah. I needed an alternative. But, like the alter the ulterior motive for me to do it was was basically because I. I didn't feel comfortable in any pedal on the market. Yeah. You, know, you had a Frankenstein one, didn't you? That's how. Oh yeah, I did a lot of <laughs> pedals. I mean, because I actually I, I got the pedal and and I've played it and, and it's like very it? yeah, yeah. And it's very different to um, you know your Iron Cobras and that sort of thing. It's it's as you say in the promo stuff. It's like there's there's not a foot pedal there. I I, I don't use it if I'm like really wanting to lay for me personally. Right. If I'm laying into something really hard. Yeah. Um, but to get that finesse and and the space, the way that you've created yeah. it with the space. On the side has that freedom to move. Um, it feels great on the foot. Well, there's a lot of things to it, you know, because like the way most drummers play is calibrated to work with the pedals on the market. You know, I, I can play just as loud with my pedal and with other, but you have to change something with your technique. Right, right. So this, I will talk about this on this video. You okay, know, cool. Like changing the paradigm a little bit on you know, right. what to do, because essentially, what I do with my foot is. I translate all the principles that work for your hand techniques to my feet. All the molar techniques or glass on strokes and the reverse and like all these hybrid techniques. You can do everything, but 
you need to change certain things in, in, in the way you you approach it. You know, so I think there's a lot of things that are possible that, that people have not realized yet. You know? I think it's a very versatile pedal, and I think it's it's just one of those things that you know you have to spend time with it to really kind of make it you know like yeah. work for what you want it to do and that's, that's well, the will, beauty will, of it i will show people what i do with it you know okay. which is not you know i mean you can be totally fine with not doing that you know but right. but it maybe it will uh, I, I think i think it will give people maybe some other ideas to to approach it differently and and, and make playing a little bit easier you know especially when you if you want to get into more fancy stuff you know right yeah Cool. Okay, well, look, we'll let you get back into the, you know, hanging out with all these famous, fabulous drummers. Um, famous, fabulous drummers. And uh, thank you so much, Jojo, for taking the time out. And uh, look, we look forward to doing a full interview with you in the near future. So um, you can follow Jojo. You're going to give like a website. It's probably just jojomayer.com, which is now coming up on the screen. You can see that right here. So um, enjoy the night. Have a great time. Thank you so much.